Hey, Franco Cavallari coming to you from Biologic to talk about something that, you know, keeps coming up, keeps coming around, and it's this polarized view of pharmaceuticals in the context of nutraceutical or natural medicines. And the interesting thing I want uh, people to keep in mind when they take these polarized positions is that there's a place for the pharmaceutical industry and the pharmaceutical output, and there's a place for nutraceutical medicines in healthcare. And for those who are on you know, the natural health side that completely oppose the work and push by the pharmaceutical industry, you have to keep in mind context. And the reality is that the pharmaceutical industry and the medical uh, curriculum, the medical practices have, have really provided for uh, an incredible platform for health. Things as basic, as basic as antibiotics and you couldn't have surgery without antibiotics. And although, yes, antibiotics may be overused and there's uh, um, a rising problem with regards to resistance to antibiotics, this evolution is inevitable because organisms cope. You and I, we're organisms. We cope to the physical work we put on ourselves to build muscle, to build health, to build insulin function based on that physical activity. We cope with our environment and so do microbes. So if we're using antibiotics, yes, we might be using them in excess and unnecessarily at times. But the fact is that basic antibiotic, that principle has saved so many lives from diseases that should never have killed people. But today we don't even think about it. We, we take that for granted. Now on the nutraceutical side, yes, the pharmaceutical industry and proponents of the pharmaceutical uh, and allopathic medical practices may have an opinion that is polarized and aversive. But here's the reality. There are regulatory mechanisms in place for the natural health industry as well. That's why we have NPNs. If you've had a bad experience with a natural health product, there's there are ways to express that and sub contribute to the data. NPN's natural product numbers are the equivalent to drug identification numbers on the allopathic medical side for drugs. NPNs are natural product numbers for, for natural agents that have been approved by regulatory agents and regulatory bodies. If you're taking a natural health product, it should have an NPN on it that says it's been approved by Health Canada. And if you're in the States, a different system through the FDA regulates these, these programs. So there is no allopathic medicine versus natural medicine. Natural medicine is an amazing preventive application when used with knowledge. The problem is that few people have knowledge about how to apply it. And the second problem is that the allopathic medical community has not been trained in the application of natural medicines. And so what we are trying to do here at Biologic is we work on both the, the allopathic medical side with drug targeting in an allopathic drug research lab, but we also then take natural medicines and we emerge and immerse them into an allopathic drug research model. Why? Because we want to standardize the activity of these natural medicines, not overall by a holistic application, but by each constituent. So we know how each of the multiple constituents in these natural medicines are contributing to the overall polypharmacology. And therefore, then we can manipulate those constituents with specificity and knowledge based on the genome and proteomic activity that we're able to unravel in our lab. Again, our research is the allopathic drug research model, the, the model that produces our drugs in the pharmaceutical industry. But we are applying it to natural medicines to validate them or, in some cases, invalidate them. There's a place for both. Typically, the natural medicines that are understood and standardized to the degree that we are studying them at they can contribute tremendously to prevention as well as therapeutic activity. And in some cases, as effective as some researched allopathic medicines. And sometimes, not always, without the side effects of common allopathic medicines. Now, why is there more rigor required on the allopathic medical side? Everybody says, well, there's more research and things are done with greater specificity and accuracy. That's not necessarily so. You have to keep one thing in mind. 
These natural medicines that we studied have been in human consumption and in the population for thousands and thousands of years. And so oftentimes we have to, we can bypass phase one clinical trials because we know they're not toxic. They've been used for thousands of years. The difference is on the allopathic medical side, we're often dealing with medicines that are synthesized and are not necessarily of natural origin. And therefore, we don't know how they're going to interact in the body. And yes, we need the clinical trials then to create an indication-specific application and know more accurately how the adverse events may occur with a medicine that's been synthesized and is not naturally existing and has been altered from a natural state sometimes because natural medicine, you have to keep in mind, is often the starting point for most of the allopathic medical drugs that we have in the marketplace today. Yet they are mildly altered so they can be patented and maybe deliver a result that's more pointed at a specific target, an amino acid, an activation site for a kinase. So there is no natural medicine versus allopathic medicine. The medical practitioners of the future will be as educated in natural medicine as they will be in pharmaceutical allopathic medical models. They are the same when they're studying in the same context. And again, that's what we're doing. We are trying to invalidate natural medicines that are not delivering the result we're expecting and validate by way of unraveling the mechanisms subcellularly for those natural medicines that do work and then fine tuning them further so that they're reliable every time. Because yes, the problem we have with natural medicines is they are multi-constituent holistic compounds that come from nature and the constitution can shift because you have multiple constituents delivering a result. Therefore, from batch to batch, those constituents can actually, the proportions can change. And of course, the pharmaceutical industry is saying, wait a minute, those aren't standardized because they're never reliably consistent. And we, Biologic, are saying, okay, we get that. Let's take this natural medicine, understand what each constituent does, and then create a proportion that targets the outcome, the indication we're looking for, lock that in, and not standardize by the whole, standardize by each constituent that's relevant to that activity. That's what the allopathic drug medicine model does. And that's what we're doing to validate again. So there's not one versus the other. There's a place for natural medicines to prevent disease. And if disease has taken hold so that it's uncontrolled, there's often a pharmaceutical medicine that can be delivered to deliver a result that's restorable, but it's your body, your body, that recovers given the window with an important allopathic drug from the pharmaceutical side. And oftentimes these natural medicines can deliver natural prompts that facilitate recovery with those drugs. And this is how, the way, this is how we have to think. It's not one versus the other. It's how and when do we use one rather than using the other. And if you decide you're not using an antibiotic when you have a mild infection of some type, my gosh, that mild infection, like it did hundreds of years ago, will kill you. So think again when you actually fight against the pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceuticals have a place. But let me tell you, nutraceuticals are gaining a bigger place. And because they're gaining a bigger place, we do have, we do have a situation with the commercial Lization of these compounds, stepping on toes of the pharmaceutical industry. That's, that's a real deal. And so now we have to face that. But keep everything in context.